Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to find the area of a rectangle. We only know the coordinates of the vertices, for example. Um, one vertex of a rectangle is at 4, 3. In counterclockwise order, the second vertex can be found by going down two units and over to the right three units twice. So let's come back to this one. And we go to 4, 3. And we go down 2 and over 3, down 2 and over 3. So there's our second vertex. And then, so if it's a counterclockwise order, we know the other one's going to be over here somewhere. And we know the coordinates of that point because we have to go the, so if the slope is down 2 over 3, then perpendicular to that, for a 90 degree corner would be up 3 over 2. You do the negative reciprocal. Flip it over and change the sign. So I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. So right there. So there's my... And up 3 over 2. So this is my rectangle. It's probably more like that. Anyways. Um, so, to find the area of that thing, well, actually, the question on this one is just find the, um, <clears throat> so we know that the first and second vertex, the distance between those, the length is twice the length between the second and third. So that's, so I went down two and over three, down two and over three, and, they, and I know that this one is only half of that length, and so I'm only going to go up 3 and over 2 once, so the length will be half of what the other side is. So then the question is, the y-coordinate of the third vertex is what? So the y-coordinate is how far up, so the y-coordinate is 2, the x-coordinate would be 12, so they, the question was asking for the y-coordinate. Actually, this next one's asking for the area. So 3, 2, go down 2, over 2, to the right twice. So let's go to that one. Oops. 3, 2, and go down 2, over 2. You got to change the color so you can see it a little better. And do that twice. Okay. We know that the third vertex is going to be at 90 degrees to that. And it's, so I'll go up 2 and over 2. A slope of negative 1, but perpendicular to that, the slope is positive 1. And so my, here's my, my rectangle. Find the area, one way would be to find the area of this rectangle and subtract out the triangles. So this re rectangle's lengths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the area of the whole rectangle is 36. I'm going to subtract out. Well. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4. So this triangle and this triangle can add together to become a rectangle that is 4 by 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. So if I subtract 16, then I'll have what's left over. I need to subtract a little more, but so I have 20 left over there. And now this triangle and this triangle, they are 2 by 2. So put them together and they become a square that's 2 by 2 for an area of 4. So if I subtract 4 from that, then I have 16 left over. So the area of that rectangle is 16. That's not the only way to do that, but that's one way to do that.